It's only like a foot deep. Oh! Ooh! That feels good. Are we there yet? We're here. Today's adventure is a daddy-daughter date, and we are looking for a hot springs. We're gonna go check out a hot springs here near Garden Valley. You girls are sleepy. You fall asleep, Ellie? Yeah. <laughs> How you doing, Alyssa? Doing okay? You wanna hold the camera? So we found the hot spring. There's some people in it right now. So we're not gonna go over there just yet, but we're gonna explore around the river for now. How does, how does it feel? Warm. Yeah, it's warm. The water's just coming out of that rock right there. See the water's bubbling out right here? Oh, it's nice and hot. Feels good. Feel that. It's nice and warm, huh? It's a tiny hot spring. Yep. Be careful. I don't want you getting too close to the river. Is that hot water too? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is where the hot water comes down. Yeah. This is where the hot water comes down. How does it feel? Ah, it's nice and warm, huh? So a hot spring just comes out of this hillside and there's a big pool right up there and then it just flows down all the way into the river. Is that water warm? It's hot. It's not, nice and hot? Not, yeah, it's nice. Not too hot. How hot is this water that's coming out? It feels good. Over here, it's just coming straight out of the rock. It's just coming straight out. Okay, we changed into our swimsuits and we're gonna go actually try out the hot springs, see how they feel. You need a coat? It is a, there's a little bit of wind. It's a little chilly. Get your shoes on, Alyssa. Go Okay, come on. I'm gonna get my coat tied. No, you don't need that giant coat. It's not that cold. Come on. I just it. Alright, come on. Let's go. I just it. Let's go. I just got it. Alright. Good job. Woohoo! Back down to the pool. Watch out for those rocks. Woo. Yeah, the other family left. You see how it feels, Ellie? Does it feel nice and warm? <laughs> it's like perfect, it's not too hot. Woo! Feel good? Yeah. Okay, let me help you. Alright, go ahead. Woo! How does it feel? Super Super, super hot? <laughs> I doubt it's that hot. 
It's only like a foot deep. Oh! Ooh! That feels good. Ah. Does it feel good, Ellie? So guys, let's talk for a second about where is this hot water coming from? It's, it's coming out of that fountain there, but where is it coming from? Hi kids, I'm Wally the Water Droplet, and today we are learning about hot springs. To understand how a hot spring forms, we need to talk about something called the water cycle. In a nutshell, the water cycle can be described in three big words. Evaporation, condensation, and precipitation. Let's see how it works. This earth is covered in lots of water. Oceans, lakes, rivers, streams, all that water is in liquid form. Just like me! Sometimes, when the heat of the sun hits water, the water does something called evaporate. The liquid turns into water vapor. Whoa! I'm flying! There's lots of water in the air floating around us as water vapor. When this water vapor collects, it forms clouds. And when it cools down, it forms rain, or even snow. This is called condensation. Rain and snow fall back down to earth as precipitation. This cycle happens over and over again. Sometimes, when water falls as precipitation, it goes into the ground, seeping through porous rocks. This water can stay underground, but sometimes seeps out of rocks and mountains as a spring. When the groundwater is heated by the hot insides of the earth, the spring becomes a hot spring. Sometimes the heat just comes from the earth itself, and other times it comes from magma. That's lava underground. When the water heats up a lot, it can even shoot out of the ground as a geyser. There she blows! And that, my astute young friends, is how you get a hot spring. Okay, let's try this. Ooh. Ah, feels good, huh? Lissa got stung by a yellow jacket. There's lots of them around here. Hey, sit right there. So we'll help it a little bit. It'll help it feel better. Okay. Does that help a little bit? Okay. You gonna be all right? All right, let's watch out for those wasps. How's your bee sting? Let me see. Lift up your neck. Yep, there it is. You're brave, Alyssa. Good job. Give me five. Okay, the girls want to go down to the river over there and then back up to the hot springs to feel the difference between the hot and the cold. All right, let's go. Here, Alyssa, I'll carry you. Okay. You ready to feel the cold water? Yeah. All right. Okay. All right, let's see how it feels. Is it cold? That feels nice. Oh, it's really cold. <laughs> Should I lay down in it? There you go. <laughs> Let's get back in the hot spring. We're sitting in water that was heated up by lava. Lava? Under the ground. Wow. Yep. So we had lots of fun coming to this hot spring, minus the yellow jackets. So there's one flying around the camera right now, so I can't even touch it. 
but we've learned some things too about where hot springs come from. All right, you ready to go? Okay, let me just get my shoes. Ugh. Okay, let's go. Ugh. I gotcha. See that blue dragonfly? Yeah. That's cool. So Ellie, you want to tell the camera what you learned about hot springs? Um, it was the hot springs was hot, hot but also fun, and we um, learned that the lake was very cold. Yeah, the river. The river, I mean. Because the lava made it hot. The lava heats up the water, right? Yeah. Yes! He's turning that way. <laughs> oh, good. Now we don't have to follow him. Alright, back home. Are we there yet?